Now let's discuss EDI identifier instances. EDI identifier instances are placeholders in the EDI profile to identify specific data sets. At the loop and segment level, they categorize these data sets based on the numeric occurrence, such as the first loop or segment, and or a qualifier value within a given transaction. Now you can even pair these instances based on qualifiers and occurrences to isolate specific field elements. So let's begin learning about the qualifier value. Let's examine a snippet of data. Notice that there are multiple N1, N3, and N4 segments, each containing a different address. When we look at the spec, we learn the N1 segment code as the first position is known as the entity identifier code, and the value of BY indicates it is the buying party, and ST means it is the ship to address. So what would happen if I didn't have an identifier instance explaining to Atomsphere the type of address? Well, Atomsphere would attempt to create a separate record for each N1 address. And that's not what we want. We want to send these values to separate fields in our record. Mapping an EDI identifier instance is similar to mapping a placeholder. Del Boomi expanded this concept to work for XML profiles but it originated here in EDI. The EDI profile has all of our segments. So if we expand the N1 segment, you will see an N1 loop. And within the N1 loop are various segments beginning with N10 and a number. By expanding the N101 element, notice it has no pre-identified qualifiers, no BY, no ST. So this is where we need to add qualifiers to identify the segment. Since we need two qualifier values, we can enter both the BY and the ST at the same time by clicking on the Add Qualifier button, entering our value, and clicking the Add Qualifier button again to enter the next one. You can add multiple qualifiers at one time by clicking on the Add Qualifier button. And not all possible qualifiers need to be entered, only the qualifiers that make the segment distinct. Right now, we only want the ship to and the build to, so any other codes would exist, we could choose to ignore them. Once we add the qualifier, we need to return to the EDI profile to add the instance. We begin by highlighting the main N1 loop segment in the header loop and clicking the blue drop-down arrow to add the identifier instance. We only want to reference the N1 loop at the loop level because we don't want our data to match the N1 segment, but we do want our data to correspond with the N2 and the N3 segments. Next, select the qualifier and click OK. Notice how it displays the EDI identifier instance of BY. Think of the qualifier instance as building in a condition in our map. For instance, I want to build a condition for the N1 loop where N101 equals BY. It moves away from the mold of allowing you to map uniquely. In the next section, we will perform the activity for the identifier instance.